So out there in that wider cosmological landscape, it can be the wild, wild west of realities. So before that, before this happens, you just have in this theory, you just have all of this energy sort of randomly interacting with other energy in the universe with no physical objects. Yep. It's and that just could a, have been forever. That could, and, and in fact, that's the main point. So you can have this uh, cosmological pre-show. You can have it last as long as you like. The only thing that you need to happen is that sooner or later, a region flattens out, and then the cosmological show begins. And if we're looking at this model of the universe being this uh, infinite universes yep. with d different characteristics and d different qualities to them, this could be happening throughout infinity yeah. all over the place. Yeah, and in fact, this so-called inflationary cosmology is the technical name for the subject, says that. It says that it's quite likely that this explosive inflation of the region that we currently inhabit, it was just one of many such events. And therefore, there are other far-flung regions throughout this larger cosmological landscape where things have also inflated, but the details can be different. The physical details can differ from what we are familiar with. And the differences can be small, temperature differences in one part of space versus another, or they can be far more significant. Even the, the particles that make up that other realm may be different from the particles that make up our realm. Their masses can be different. Their charges can be different. Their fundamental physical features can be different. So out there in that wider cosmological landscape, it can be the wild, wild west of realities. <laughs>